Welcome back again to Game Development Course. In previous lecture we have learned, what are variables, how to define them, how to set the value in variable, and show the value of variable in console. When we open our C-sharp script for the first time, we get some default code inside our script. For now we will not go deeper on all the code, because we will learn them in our future video. For now, let's talk about the function or method. In C sharp, method is a separate code block, and that contain a series of statements to perform a particular operations. Methods must be declared either in class or struct by specifying the required parameters. Generally, in C sharp methods are useful to improve the code reusability, by reducing the code duplication. Suppose if we have a same functionality to perform in multiple places, then we can create a one method with required functionality, and use it wherever it is required in application. By default Unity provides us two function or method. They are, void start method, and void update method. Let us look on void start method. The keyword void means to return nothing. That means, this start method will not return any value, after the work is completed by a method. Suppose if you go to a shop, you give money to shopkeeper, and ask for a pen. Then the shopkeeper will take a money and provide pen to you. In this case shopkeeper return pen to you. And again suppose, you give a pocket money to your children, then they will use it for themselves. They will not return anything to you. So in programming, if the method or function will not return value, to any other place then void keyword is used. Followed by the void keyword, the name of the function is written. Remember that the name should not contain any white space. And the name must be meaningful, so it is easier to know, what that function does. The start function in Unity will run only once before any frame is updated. So the code or statement inside start method will run only one time. But when we write any particular statement inside update method, then it will run continuously on each update of frame. For example if your game is running 24 frame per second, then the statement inside update function will run 24 times per second. Let's move to Visual Studio. At the end part of our code, we can find update function. Let us write a message inside update function. Debug.log, I am running multiple times. Now when we test our game, we will get an output of I am running multiple times continuously. You can see as the output is added automatically, the scroll bar is going smaller. Here you can collapse the repetitive output in console from here. In this case, you can see how much times, the same output is displayed in the console. Now, you know what is the difference between start method and the update method. In the next lecture we will discuss about, how we can get user input from the keyboard. Thank you for watching, please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel.